to throw it out there. I recently made a website for school um, where it's parallax like this, where all the text and the background scroll at different speeds. I had to make this for a philosophy class, it, so the content isn't important, but I wanted to explain how I made it in case you're in a similar situation and want to learn how to do this. So you can see that all the different layers are moving at different speeds, some stick on the screen for a while, and as we continue to scroll through the website, you can see different little flares, like you can hover over these to see the back of the card for more information. And I'll keep scrolling through just so you can kind of see an example. I did my best to make it artsy, even though that's not my strong suit. Um, you can, can see that all the different layers are moving. I think it's pretty, looking pretty smooth, quite fancy. And we have a few more of these little, little cards you can hover over. And then we have the end. Let me show you the code. So this is just a Create React App project right here. I'm um, using React Spring. So all the magic is happening in app.js. And first of all, if you don't know anything about React Spring, I'd recommend watching this video from Fireship, link in the description. He'll explain the basics of it. This is where I learned how to do everything. And then in this code, all I'm doing is first of all, I'm importing a bunch of images. And then down here, this is how I track um, kind of the different chapters of the presentation. So I had six logical breaks in that presentation. These are how long each of them are. And these units are screen height, so the height from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. Then I compute the start location for each of the chapters, and then I just use that because it's more convenient when working with parallax layers. So a parallax layer is just any scrolling element in the presentation. Uh, this is where it starts, this is how tall it is, and then a few of them have another attribute called sticky that controls how long they stay on the screen. And if you're making a project like this, I just recommend downloading all this code. And then you can tweak the different parallax layers to make it look like what you want. Um, the content isn't important, so just change all of the data for the content and the images. And then the only hard part is just uh, changing the parallax layers to start and end when you want. Um, so hopefully this at least just lets you not worry about the technical part of that app so much as worrying about just the artsy side of it. So I know this is the most niche tutorial ever, but just in case anyone out there was needing something exactly like what I just made, I figured I'd at least throw this information out there so it could be a little bit easier for you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.